Good morning YouTubers, it's Smoking Kippers and Saxman aka Tony over there getting ready and we have a new permission to go out today um, yeah, a little bit of winter wheat or wheat on here rather uh, it's not too long and um, yeah, never been done before um, just really excited, always excited um, but really excited today because it's a new permission and you just never know do you so here we go we're gonna get going and um, yeah hopefully see you soon with some great finds stay tuned bye hello hello again so we came in that corner there we come down here Tony found a dog tag and a button and a bit of deep iron and I found some foil got in there that little hole there which Tony's very kindly filled in for me and first find for me a cut half so let's have a look at this very pleased with that for the first dig I'll get some better clearer photos on the site I'm just gonna take a little quick look ah oh, and it looks Scottish to me because I can see a little star there so we're gonna have a little whiz around this area we've got a footpath that we're heading to um, but yeah, there you go guys, first dig of the day, lovely little cut half. Happy day, see you soon, bye! Okay. So, we don't know what the numbers are because we're not going by numbers today, but apparently a nice signal, I hope you can hear me, a little bit windy, it's a bit fresh, my eyes are watering, I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, my nose is dribbling. And there we go. Large, large lead piece <laughs> finger of lead. <laughs> so yeah, that's the footpath that comes up through here. Apparently it goes all the way around and then down there. Can't really show you that bit, but um, yeah. So from down there, thought it was a hammy at first, but no. Uh, but it is a coin. So yeah, uh, it's a bit of a worn, bit of a worn farthing that looks to me probably Victorian quite thin but anyway a coin is a coin and on to the next one see you soon bye there's Tony over there he can't even be bothered to walk over to this um, <laughs> it is a silver but it's fairly modern unfortunately or fortunately and uh, came from down there and there she blows in the clod and I will plug this out for you and we'll have a look at this one together and there we go there we go that's the imprint and it is a George the sixth and it's a sixpence let's see if I can get a date off of this on this side they normally are yeah 1937 so 50 50 uh, it's not pure silver but anyway that's my third coin of the day and we've only been going about half an hour so that bodes really well and um, just looking at this field here we've found this hump um, which we're gonna pay a bit of attention to because that looks interesting um, hopefully we'll find some more bits for you and we'll see you soon bye Back again, literally the sixpence come out from over there, about there I think it is, so you can just see my hill, about 10, 12 feet away, and over here just on the surface, little surface find, um, it looks silver to me, give it a clean when we get back, it looks like part of a locket or a bit of a brooch or something, and I uh, I think I can see some initials on there, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, interesting find. I'll clean it up. I'm, I think it's silver. It's just got that feel to it and that look about it. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll clarify when we get home. It's got some decoration around those little uh, 
around the outer edge so yeah hoping that's another little bit of silver maybe a little hot spot here so we're going to bash this area for a bit and we'll come back to you soon see you soon bye Clash, clash of the day. Some like. sort of star, doesn't it? Hmm. There's a ring. Never mind. Peace. On to the next one. Bye. Funny signal that. Dancing what? around, so. Funny ha ha. As in a buckle. It's got a double ring to it. I can't figure out where it's coming from. Nice and crunchy. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Right there. In there. It's in that lump you just took out, my friend. Is it something nice for Uncle no. Tony? It's no, a big it's lump a of bit of lead. Stuff. Oh well, never mind. On to the next one. So just from down there, not very far, probably about three inches, we have got ourselves another hammered. Uh, it's a Jetton and it's broken. Look at that imprint. I love an imprint, doesn't everyone? And there she blows. And don't know which one that is, but I'll get that on the forum and I'm sure, well, I'm sure Electus's ears are already pricking up. Um, God, what the guy doesn't know about coins, big shout out to Tony, aka Electus, on the metaldetectingforum.co.uk, get on there guys, seriously, if you've got a coin you need IDing, the guy will have it ID'd within seconds, it's like a small miracle, um, but yeah, I'm pleased with that, it's a shame it's a bit crunchy, and missing a bit, but there you go, another little hammy for you, um, copper one, but anyway, yeah, so that's four coins to Tony's none. He's got the hump, so he's off over there. Um, but yeah, anyway, come back to you soon. Bye. Just there, you might still be able to see where I dug that hole. That was where the jetton came out of. I walked along here, and just on the surface is a little strap end there we go look at that still got the little hole to fix it on the end of the strap so yeah really pleased with that it's only a copper one but hey ho a strap end is a strap end so yeah a few little finds coming out for me today really enjoying this so far and um, we're going to be heading up this dip in this field here it seems to be producing for me anyway and um, we're going to go and grab a bit of brekkie and a cup of tea and then we're going to hit it again so if anything else comes out on the way back up there then um, yeah we'll let you know see you soon bye hello again back at the car so we're having a little bit of breakfast courtesy of sainsbury's i think that was and a cup of tea and this is a roundup of my best bits. You've got this little silver locket key face thing and a farthing and jeton cut half William the Lion. I'm gonna hazard a guess at from the stars and the scepter on the back and my strap end and a Georgian, uh, not Georgian, George the Sixth. That is 1937 silver, half silver rather, and Tony's best bit is that, which he assures me is a horse feather plume. Well done. Don't you get your denari out. So we just started again, came in from that corner, we walked over here, Tony said, oh, I've got a really nice signal, and I said, have you now? And yes, he has, look, he has got a another cut half for Which us means we for, have to the day. for the day so yeah but let's have a look at the other side because that's a nice side nice 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 yeah that looks like a henry to moi 
And um, yeah, well done. Big smile. He's happy now. I think. It's fine. Hello again. Hello, hello. So we tried down at the bottom there. It's a little bit sparse. We came back up to this high ground and had uh, a couple of shotgun cartridges and ring pulls. There's definitely a bit more activity up here. Um, most of it modern though. And um, hopefully you can hear me because of the wind. And I've just found this little button. It's quite a cutie with um, what looks like a uh, an anchor on there, so some sort of nautical button. So yeah, we're going to give this area up here a bit of a bash. Got the pylons to contend with, but that's the beauty of using the day as you can just change to a different frequency and crack on. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Tony's over there. Uh, he's not found um, any more hammered. So come back to you hopefully when we do. See you soon. Bye. Fairly deep this one, probably about seven inches or so, and definitely a few more bits up here. This very nice little buckle has just come out. It's quite a nice one that. Yeah, pleased with that. So um, yeah, we'll crack on, see if we can get you something a bit better. See you soon, bye. So we've got an 85 solid on the dais. It's scratchy as you like, according to Tony, which is always a good sign really windy now what's going on hopefully you can hear us still in there oh god you can do it mm, interesting oh, it's in that side out it comes mm. Going for the killer shot. Oh, it's a button. Nice. Oh well, never mind. On to the next. See you soon. Bye. Uh, finds have been a bit sparse, but Tony's unearthed an interesting strap end. Hmm, interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. Uh, it's a strap end. See you soon. Bye. From down there, Tony's on a bit of a roll, he's just had that strap end, and now he's pulled out a silver milled. Any ideas what it is? George, I'd say. A George, he says. Plop! And there it is. George. Yeah, yeah. nice, nice. Looks like a 1908 or something. Um, full silver. Sweet, well done. Date's gone. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's definitely full silver though. Nice. So well done, well done, Squire. Happy days. On to the next one. Gold hammer next. Bye. Pound coin. And Tony's found a two pound coin. Unbelievable. That's craziness. I can't even remember the last time it's we crazy, found one of them. It? Yeah, yeah it is. Pounds. Two pound coin. Well done. That'll buy you a half a pint somewhere, Squire. So there we go. Just from down there. It's been a really tough last few hours. Nothing much coming out at all. Um, well, not for me anyway, Tony's had a few bits, but right in there you can probably see that. That looks to me like a nice, nice lead. Looks like a seal or a token. Oh, it's nice. We'll just pluck that from yonder. Oh, hello. There she blows. And yeah, that's... Ah, I've not had a decent lead token for a while, so that's nice. That's nice. And it's got a little... IA on the back. Yeah. Hmm, lovely. So, there we go. That's one for the collection anyway. That's cheered me up because it has been tough. The last couple of hours, lots of shotgun cartridges and bits of lead and rubbish. So, yeah, that's it. And also, the sun's come out now a little bit, which is lovely. Getting a bit of sun on the old bald patch. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to have hit this corner here. We haven't really tried this, so... That's what we're gonna do, off goes Tony. Good luck, and um, yeah, I'll come back to you soon. See you soon, bye. Happy days. We've found a little hot spot in this corner here. A few buttons and bits and pieces coming out, and I just think I've found another hammered. It looks like a little Charles Penny. We will plucketh it out and have a look. 
Yep, I think that is, or well, it might be a, a Lizzie penny. I'm not sure, that needs cleaning and a bit more investigation. Um, but yeah, that's the second one of the day, three in total for us. And a few other nice bits. It's been tough, I will not lie, it's been tough, but the sun is out still. It's a lovely day, we've got a few more hours. So, let's go and find some more, what do you say? Tony's off again, look at him go, he's just come over to me, he goes, oh, I just found a brooch, oh, it's an annular brooch, and he has as well. Very nice too. Look at that, and also he's found a ear cleaner, which we think could be Roman. Um, so yeah, a couple more bits coming out around here, that's really nice. Um, well done Tony, see you soon, bye. Hello YouTubers. So um, yeah, we've come all the way from over there, all the way over here, had absolutely no signals apart from one button. And um, yeah, had a really, really scratchy signal. It's bouncing around all over the place, which is why I've dug out all of that. And um, it's second pre-decimal of the day. I wasn't expecting that at all. I really wasn't. I don't know what I was expecting because it was such a poor signal. But um, yeah, there you go. Another coin to keep us going. Hope you enjoy that. And um, yeah, hopefully the next one will be a hammered. And I'll see you soon. Bye. And baton. Nah, it's a little Lizzie. No, it's not. This is three pence. Hey, another That's silver. Nice, or, uh, yeah, it looks like a thruppence. Vicky. Vicky thruppence. It's got a three on it. Yeah, it's got clear, actually. That's one, well done, son. Yeah, sweet, let me have a look. Please do that. Ah, oh, nice one to wrap up the day. So that's three meal silvers we've had. Well, can we get a date on that? Let's have a look there. Yes, we can. 1898. And that is a veil head. Oh, sorry, my finger's in the way. That is a veil head, Vicky. Well done, Tony. Bye, it's mine now. So we're going to do a bit of a roundup of Tony's best bits of the day, and we have got that really lovely, lovely little annular brooch, which is going to clean up beautifully. Not sure on the age of that, but it looks very nice. And there's the veil head Victoria threepence. That's nice. And the George the fifth, I believe. Yeah, George the uh, fifth, sixpence. A two pound coin, unbelievable, and a very nice, I believe, Henry the Third cut half. So, there we go. Well done, Tony. See you soon. Bye. Hello, hello, YouTubers. It's Smoking Kippers back at HQ, and we had a really good day today. I'm a little bit sunburnt um, again on my ball patch, um, not too bad. It was a lovely day and found quite a few bits and pieces. Uh, you've already seen Tony's best bits. I'm going to do a little bit of a roundup and um, yeah. So um, we'll start with the bits. I'm not sure what that is. It slides up and down though. Maybe a bit of a buckle plate. Um, that is a bit of buckle. Uh, that was the nice buckle that I found. I showed you in the video um, just an ordinary buckle probably a bit of horse tack or something like that uh, another big bit of buckle there more buckle don't think I showed you that that was a bit of a bell that I found um, and also I don't think I showed you that which was another piece of pipe stem so that's really weird after I was complaining that I never found any in three years I found two in one week a um, little bit of a furniture plate, that, a little bit of furniture fitting. The obligatory tarpaulin rings, another tarpaulin ring. That looks like the end of a key. Um, a 
bronze key, a little bit of chain from something, two warheads off some bullets, a little bit of bronze, not sure what that's off, another umbrella divider thingy, and that's the strap end that I showed you in the video. And I had only 14 buttons today, which is about half what I normally find. Um, but I'm not complaining, found a couple of nice ones. Um, this one I showed you in the video, that's the one with the anchor on it. And I don't think I showed you this one, that's quite a nice, looks like that's come off a woman's jacket. Um, and that looks like that front bit there was silver plate here, that's still in pretty good condition. So probably fairly modern uh, the others aren't anything really to write home about and then onto the coins and silver uh, we've got a pre-decimal here too grotty to tell you what that is a two penny piece to pee or not to be and that's normally a farthing of some variety that's the jetton that I showed you in the video and that's the medieval I think that's a medieval lead token and actually the letters are T and A on the back of that really like that that's going in the collection then these have passed the silver test that I'm not sure what it's from either a bit of a locket or maybe I don't know a bit of decoration from something but definitely silver this little scrap which uh, Tony thought was aluminium is actually silver and it's even got hallmarks on it um, I'll put some pictures up of that so you can see uh, that's the sixpence that I found that's cleaned up really nicely they always do because they're 50 50 they're not real silver that is the hammered which is actually a love token and I was only saying on the forum uh, metaldetectingforum.co.uk the other day that it's very unusual to find um, hammered uh, love tokens you normally find William the third love tokens the milled silver um, so yeah that's a first for me I don't think I've ever found a hammered coin that was turned into a love token and I believe that is an Elizabeth Penny but not sure I'll get that ID'd and then that is the uh, Scottish I believe that's a William the Lion Scottish cut half that's cleaned up quite nicely I'll show you the uh, reverse of that if it will lie flat in my hand like that and you can see the stars uh, it's avoided uh, short cross and you can see the stars that denote it's Scottish and then finally a special guest appearance Saxman's uh, or Tony's absolutely stunning Roman denarii that is a Vespasian uh, it's in incredible condition and I am very jealous and I still haven't found one even after three years and even walking next to him as he's been pulling them out of the ground um, but there you go that's metal detecting you don't always find what you want um, but hopefully one day I'll walk over a cracker like this I mean look at the bust on that um, let me get you a good angle on that look at that that's absolutely stunning I'll put some pictures of everything on so you got some better detail um, but yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. I had an absolutely lovely day. The weather was gorgeous. Um, really good company. We had a good laugh. And um, yeah, I think we did pretty well between us. I believe we had um, three hammers and three milled silver and a couple of other bits of milled silver and medieval token and a few other bits and pieces. Um, yeah, so, oh, and the annular brooch that Tony found, um, small but absolutely gorgeous. So, well done, Tony. That is a cracking, cracking find. Probably, I hate to say, the find of the day. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, leave a like, subscribe, and a comment. And if you didn't, like I always say, I don't care. See you soon. Bye.